the press weighs in. I think it's a really interesting matchup of styles. Floyd is extremely fast, very skilled, and Robert's also very skilled, and he's a very physical fighter, and I think that's going to be one of his advantages in the fight. I think this is one of the more difficult fights of Floyd's entire career. I think it's going to be an exciting fight because you have uh, a one fighter in Robert who's a tough kid who's not going anywhere. He's going to stand his ground. He's going to fight. He's going to come forward. And he's going to try to put, impose his will on the floor. Ultimately, I think Floyd's speed and craft and experience will take over, and I think he'll win a decision. But, but I think it's going to be an, an extremely competitive fight, and probably more so than a lot of people might be giving uh, thought to. Well, it's not a good style for Floyd because Robert is going to get into his face and Robert is going to make life difficult for him uh, on the inside. And Floyd likes to pick you apart from the outside, land his shots, dance around you, avoid getting any big shots of his own. You can make the case that Floyd's going to get hit more in this fight than he's hit and been hit in any of his previous fights because that's what Robert does. He makes it physical with him. How can you pick against a guy who's never lost, especially the competition he's fought? But I think the versatility of Guerrero can trouble Mayweather. Floyd is not as elusive as he used to be, so it's not like he's going to be running all the time. He's going to be trying to solve the South Paul and Guerrero style. So he's going to be there, too. So I don't think they're going to stray very far from each other. And I think they're going to throw a lot of punches. If I'm Robert Guerrero, I make it ugly. I get in his face. I maul and I brawl and I try to bust him up and make it mean and ugly and hope the judges give me some love at the end. Mayweather versus Guerrero. Saturday, May 4th, live on Pay-Per-View.